Hi everybody, I'm Leah. Welcome back to my YouTube channel, Anointed by God, where I talk about all things faith. Today we're going to talk about inner and outer beauty as a Christian woman. And so um, this area has been just, uh, I can see that the Lord has moved in this area in my life. And so really, this is just like girl talk and chit chat. Inner beauty. Inner beauty is the the you within. That's your spirit. That's your soul. That is your confidence. And um, you know, my life before Christ, I I would mask my my low self worth and just you know bouts of low confidence. I would I did a really good job at masking it um, through needing validation from others, wearing sometimes skimpy outfits, just needing attention from men. If I was getting that, then I was great. Um, and that's really where my confidence was coming from. It wasn't coming from the Lord. It came from what other people were telling me or simply based on the attention that I was getting. So I really didn't have an inner beauty that for sure didn't have, I mean, I didn't realize my outer beauty. So it was really a self-worth thing. And um, when I became a born again Christian back in 2018, um, it still, I didn't, I st it still took some time. But as I grew in my relationship with the Lord, he began to develop my inner beauty. So the Lord stripped me down really so that he can build me up in who he has created me to be in, in God. And so um, a lot of things I had placed my identity in had been stripped away. So I left my job as a teacher. I moved back home, was single, and I wasn't pressed for the first time. And I mean, yeah, you have moments of like, I had moments of like, hmm, I wonder when, but I wasn't like on the prowl. Okay, because before I, you know, you kind of go to certain places and you're trying to always look and scope, but I wasn't doing any of that. I was, I was resting in the Lord. And during this time, he began to show me through his word who he's created me to be, who he's created you to be, who he's created women to be. Women are created to be, um, the Bible says a woman who fears the Lord is greatly to be praised. And so while I was seeking this praise from others, God said, if you fear me, you're going to get praise from, you know, and this is in the context of a virtuous woman. You'll get praise from your husband. You'll be, get praise from, you know, the people closest to you. More importantly, you'll be pleasing God. And so as he took me through his word and I learned the character of God, like, I, as I got into more of a, a deeper, a closer relationship with my Heavenly Father, I learned who He was. And so, me, me, somebody who was formed, and you, who was who God knew in our mother's wombs, He knows how many strands of hair we have on our head. There's no reason that I shouldn't, that I should feel, um, not good enough about myself. There's no reason because that's not the character of God. Like God is never going to condemn you. Yes, the Holy Spirit will convict you and lead you into um, repentance for sin, but it's never going to be condemnation. And as I read through just the Bible and how it's really God's love for us, how, how God was so, um, he wanted so much to bring human beings back into right relationship with him that he gave his only son and allowed his son to be tortured and, and crucified for us. That That is the ultimate love. And so the Bible is truly a book of love. And it's like, okay, so if God loves you, you have to love you for real. And not just say it, but really, really embodying that. And so the Lord had me working on um, characteristics that that are that are feminine <laughs> on the inside he was making me more patient um he made me more 
reflective in a sense. Like he helped me control my emotions better. Sometimes it's so easy, at least for me, to just get annoyed. Like something's not going how you want it, it's not moving. I'm getting annoyed and it's like, no. Pause. Gentleness. Pause. Okay. So the Lord was refining me on the inside and and really um like softening me up more and that translated to an outward because now once all this inner work and healing had taken place then it was like okay <laughs> we need to work on the outer we need to work on the the exterior and for so long i had just kind of been you know the pandemic hit and it was just really easy to fall into a place of com comfortability and really what the what the holy spirit had revealed to me was that it was laziness because one day i'm like i'm going to walmart or no i'm going to sam's club same difference i'm going to the store and i wanted to just throw on some black pants a sweatshirt you know my boots and just hit it <laughs> and the holy spirit was like hmm why are you being lazy <laughs> And it really was revealed to me that the Lord made us beautiful. Every woman on this earth is beautiful. Everybody is beautiful. And it's the devil. The devil is on his job 24-7, you know, trying to trying to throw seeds of, of the opposite, trying to make you um, insecure or you know, doubtful about yourself or feeling the need to fill yourself up with other things, other sources um, to feel good about yourself. But God made us beautiful. And what he revealed to me is that in not, in being lazy about my appearance, right? All this transformation has happened in here and up here. And then by me being lazy about my appearance, it's like, you're, no. <laughs> Like, God created women to be the helpmate, the helpmeet to men. God created women to, be, to to bring life into this world, meaning we're nurturers, meaning we're caring, we're, we're life givers. Um, God created women to be the more gentle, the more softer sex. And so as you, as I embraced my femininity, I realized that that was pleasing to the Lord. Laziness is not something um, that belongs in the kingdom of God. It's not a godly trait. And so when I feel myself wanting to go back to that habit, wanting to just kind of, oh, I'm just making some runs. I don't really need to go. I don't really need to. Yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. Because this is also pleasing to God. So yeah, get up a little bit earlier and Take the extra time to, you know, do a soft makeup, gentle makeup, or whatever that looks like for you. Take the extra time to fully exfoliate. Take, take the extra time to do a nice moisturization on my hair. You know, take the extra time to put a better outfit together because it's not that I didn't have the resources or the means. It was just that I was being falling had fallen into a place of laziness and that gives room to the devil and that's where he can really start at least in my life he will start to get in your head because you're not at your best you're just kind of going through it's easy to start to pick yourself apart when you're not feeling your best and that's that's giving room to the enemy and i said no 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 oh, you have the control God has given us the tools and we have the control on how we're going to, to use them. And so when you're at your best, you're feeling at your best, that's no room for the devil. I don't condemn myself. I don't condemn my appearance. That's going against God. God made women so beautiful. Just think, like, it was just the other day, I'm like, wow, how blessed am I to be able to change my hairstyles and put on earrings and you know, fashion and to put on lip gloss and to put on makeup. How blessed am I as a woman to be able to do these things as a beauty treatment? 
I had recently reread Esther. And um, as I'm reading, something just stood out to me. She spent a year on beauty treatments. She spent one year on beauty treatments. Like just, you know, um, the purification process, I believe is what it was called. And during that time, um, you know, they didn't have all of the amenities and things that we have now. And so that whole process was to make sure that she smelled nice um, once she was presented to the king. Like, yeah, beautify yourself, girl, beautify yourself, sis. And, you know, you may be someone who does, who just does, and that's great. But, you know, I was someone who would just, yeah, I knew how to pull it together for an occasion, but that's just it. Occasions are occasions. They happen what? On occasion, a couple of times a year. Like, that's not an every all the time thing. And the Lord was just revealing to me, like, look your best. You don't know. Um, you never know who you're going to run across, who you may meet, etc. And if you're out here not looking your best, which can in turn, not, you won't feel your best always. You just, no, smile, look your best, be beautiful, feel beautiful because you are beautiful. And anything that comes against that is a lie from the pits of hell. And that's how I look at it now. And that has given me the confidence that I was always looking for. It was always in here. But when, you know, I was focused on worldly confidence, um, it wasn't being cultivated because I was seeking the world instead of seeking God. And as I've learned to seek God, as I've sought God, he's revealed that I made you beautiful. Now just walk in it. Just walk in it. <laughs> and it's so funny because I look back at old pictures of myself and I'm just like, girl, you were so cute then. You are so cute. Like what? Why would you ever question? Why would you ever doubt? It feels so good to have the confidence that I was always longing for to finally be able to say, this is me and I am beautiful and mean it um and so if you're struggling in that area start playing around with 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 something that um some sort of beauty treatment maybe that's you know maybe you don't, you're not into nails maybe try and go maybe just just see maybe just get your nails done one time and you can you know start there or there's so many tutorials out now you know i've been something i've been working on is skincare um, and just trying to take better care of what God has gifted me with. God has gifted all of us with. We only get one body. And so it's up to us to steward this body well and to take care of it, you know. Whatever your feminine thing is, lean into that. Lean into that because that is what separates a woman from a man. That's all I have for y'all. I hope you have a great day and I'll see y'all next time. Bye.